dad not being able to feed himself when I just taught him how to feed himself. I'm going to say that again. I didn't want my baby boy seeing me trying to feed myself when I just tried it, when I just taught him to feed himself. That's a lot of humility that I didn't have. I didn't. But you can keep trying in front of God. All they got to be is you and him. You can get this spiritual independence. You don't have to get it from your pastor. We thank God for all the pastors and the ministers, but you can get it from God directly yourself. God can teach you all you need to know. But you're going to get it through trying and the attempts. You're going to get it through the trust, the test, the trial, and the tribulations. Yeah, we don't want to go through it. But Jesus himself had to go through test trials and tribulations. Who are we? We're not Jesus. So we're going to have to go through those tests and trials and tribulations to get to that spiritual independence that we desire. Right? Now watch this. So, so I said, you know what, man? I'm tired of people feeding me. I'm a 32, 33 year old man I should be able to feed myself so I had to get stronger because what what I didn't realize is how much energy and how much effort and how strong we have to be in order to feed ourselves like you know how strong you gotta be to feed yourself physically strong it takes a lot of effort and a lot of balance to feed yourself, right? And so in order to do that, I had to get a lot stronger. So in order to feed yourself spiritually, it's going to take some effort. In order, to, in order for you to get to that place of you can physically, you can spiritually feed yourself, meaning you can preach a word to yourself you can praise all by yourself. You can read your Bible all by yourself. You got to get stronger. Well, how do I get stronger spiritually? Unfortunately, we're going to have to go through some things. We're going to have to go through some things. And all of these things, are, it's not going to be happy all the time. All of these things aren't going to be fun. Chicken curry. Orange chicken curry. With rice, broccoli. Mmm best thing on the menu I used to eat it almost every day and I remember um, the other thing I loved, used to love was the uh, you know the little, the little blueberry muffins with the little um, strawberry shortcake uh, ice cream right so I would take the blueberry muffin and eating the, the muffin and the ice cream Man, the muffin and the ice cream was on every part of that table. I'm talking about I'm trying to pick it up, pick it up, pick the spoon up, pick the fork cup, pick the blueberry muffin up, pick the ice cream up. The ice cream is melting. Literally, it is everywhere, all over the table, all over myself. But the success was not that I got it in my mouth. The success was in my attempts to get it in my mouth. That's all my therapist told me to do. She said, I don't care what it looks like. It's supposed to be ugly. It's not supposed to be pretty. You see, on your way to the spiritual independence that you and God want you to be, it's going to be a little ugly sometimes. It's not going to feel good all the time. You're going to lose family and friends. I hurt. It's going to be painful. People are going to walk out of your life. Focus on the try. The try. You see, all God wants you to do is try. I dare you to try God. I dare you to just try Him. If you're watching this, I don't get all this stuff, Marcel, this God, Jesus talking, 
who is Moses and blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about all that. Just try to talk to him. You ain't got to see the pretty words and you ain't got to know all the Bible verses and you ain't got to know all that. I didn't know all of that. I still don't know all of it. I'm still learning it. I'm still learning the Bible. Right? But just try God. And He'll do the rest. I tried to feed myself. And I succeeded. So breakfast was different. Breakfast was different. I love cereal. A little harder. Right? So I tried it. And I tried it in front of nurses. And I tried it in front of CNAs. And I tried it in front of doctors and other physical therapists and whoever. I didn't care anymore about what it looked like. And they were so proud of me. We celebrated it. We hugged about it. The people who really love you, the people who really care about you, they're going to celebrate your attempts. Yeah, you're not going to get it right all the time. But they're going to celebrate the attempt because your heart is in the right place.